Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf and weekly download episode number 116. On today's episode, I'm gonna be playing some more Call of Duty Black Ops 4. When I give you this news, I got my cup of coffee right there. Make sure you guys let me know in the comment section what you're sipping on. Let's get into it. Before getting into the actual news this week, I want to quickly introduce the sponsor of today's video, Dev Mountain. And they actually sent me some gear this week, which is a uh Pretty cool. Dev Mountain is a 13 week class for all of you aspiring iOS and web developers out there, which I kind of have a feeling is a lot of you watching this video. Their 13 week class focuses on providing you only the skills that you actually need to go out there and start your new career in coding. They don't waste time with the filler curriculum like a traditional college. They also feature student housing at no extra cost, a variety of different classes, including UX design and QA testing. And most importantly, all of this is available at an affordable price. Feel free to head on down to that first link in the description to learn more if you're interested in getting that quick boost you need to start your new career in coding and design. To start off the tech news this week, despite being several weeks away, the new big Black Friday deals are already starting and I would highly recommend going over there right now before things sell out. Newegg already has 20 pages of deals and I've seen some good gaming laptops on there for a good price if you're interested in that. Next up, AMD showcased some big news at the New Horizon event this week. How big you might ask? Just a 64 core 128 thread monster 7 nanometer processor that we've all been waiting for. AMD is finally starting to announce their Zen 2 7 nanometer processor line, and although this monster of a CPU is only for servers, at least we're getting to see this much awaited technology. AMD also did announce that they are on pace for a next year release of Zen 2, and they also mentioned that even Zen 3 and Zen 4 architectures are on track as well. In more AMD announcement news, they finally announced their 7 nanometer graphics cards, which is something else we've all been waiting for. These Radeon Instant graphics cards aren't for gamers, mind you, but once again, it's a step in the right direction. Just like with the Vega graphics cards, AMD always releases their professional grade cards before their gamer cards, so this is nothing new. We still don't technically know if AMD will release a 7 nanometer Vega edition card, but we will hopefully find out soon. Moving on to our PC gaming news for the week, Battlefield 5 is now out a day early for all of us lucky Origin Premier Access subscribers, and I'm definitely going to be checking this one out over the weekend. Battlefield 5 doesn't launch until November 20th, so this is actually a huge head start for just a few bucks a month. Moving on, I know that I should have reported this last week, but for those of you that are still unaware, Destiny 2 is completely free to claim over on Battle.net until November 18th. As you guys know, Destiny is one of my personal favorite games right now, and I would highly recommend picking this one up if you haven't already. It's just the base game, mind you, with no expansions, but that's still a lot of content for you to try out for free. Sticking with the Blizzard theme, I'm sure that most of you have already heard, but Blizzard received some major backlash this week when they announced a new Diablo game coming to mobile phones. The game is called Diablo Immortal, and the fans and stock prices went completely crazy this week because Blizzard didn't announce any Diablo news on the PC. I personally don't think it's that big of a deal because we would have gotten some leaks if something else were happening, and Blizzard stated that they're jumping all in on mobile gaming, so we kind of saw this coming. Well, that wraps up weekly download episode number 116. Now, feel free to head on over to one of these two videos if you haven't seen them yet, and definitely hit the subscribe button because, like I said, next week we're benchmarking some Battlefield 5. You don't want to miss that video.